is my review of Sells at Work Code Black. Okay, so this episode marks the end of season one and sets up a cliffhanger for the beginning of season two because, uh, yeah, this episode isn't the final episode, although it could have ended very nicely on this episode and it probably would have been fine, but, uh, yeah, there's more, there is more of the story and, uh, last time we left it on a bit of a cliffhanger that the, uh, heart stopped working, so, yeah, obviously the body, obviously the body is beginning to shut down and all the, all the cells are trying in vain to try and continue working so that they can actually keep the body going um with the red blood with all the red blood cells in particular trying to unclog the coronary artery themselves which isn't going as well as you would hope um so at, at which but as to everybody is contemplating what they should do about what how they should actually try and keep the body alive and whether or not this is the end um they actually hear a large thumping set a large thumping sound and the, and the ground begin and beneath their feet begins to shake um and 28 and twenty a twenty one fifty three notices this and goes back to the goes back to the heart, um, and the and the lung cells actually notice that there's something that there's something very screwy as well, and they notice that the that the rib cage is beginning to break, um, and when a twenty one fifty three returns to back to the back to where the heart is, he discovers that the heart is actually blinking in time in time with the with the vibrations. And sure enough, it's chest compressions. Um, the, somebody else, a different body is actually giving this body chest compressions so that it can come, come back, the heart can potentially come back to life. Um, and although the one, the one cell, the, the, the purple haired cell that you guys remember, he was in the, he was in the episode where they, where they explain how energy drinks work. Yeah. He points out that it's all, that it's all pointless and that it, that it won't work. Um, and 21, but a twenty one fifty three is very uh, is very up on the point that if the that, that if the heart starts again that they need to be ready to deliver oxygen and keep blood flow going so that they continue to the rest of the heart. But the purple haired purple the purple purple haired cells st stops him pointing out that it's that's all very pointless and even voices concerns to the rest of the red blood cells that now because the the body is dying he, they no longer need to work at, anymore and that they can't keep continue to keep pushing themselves. And even points out that that the hooks that, that the hooks of the body have clearly sunk their way into AA twenty one fifty three, and points out how hard he's how hard he's working and how pointless is that he's actually working, and that he needs to that he needs to give up because it's over. However, AA twenty one fifty three merely remarks that all of that is irrelevant because he's not working because it's for the sake of the body. He's working because he likes working. So and points out that everybody else should be should adopt that mindset as well because if they continue to work for the sake of the body even when they know it's hopeless then that's the meaning of actually finding work in their environment um at which point at which point the butt the, the heart begin begins to start and flick flicker on and off um but at which point he begin at which point he be start begins to start the body in a chant to get a fight of telling the heart to fight and continue and to continue going um and it's basically one of that that standard trope where everybody cheers on for the hero to keep going and to keep fighting even though that even though it's no longer has any odds. Um, and we've already seen how this works in My Hero Academia, where they did where they did it out of desperation, and it's the same thing here because it's they know that their pleas aren't actually going to return to the heart and actually continue onward, but it does eventually shut. It does eventually it does eventually work, albeit not right away. It does the heart does eventually shut down and start back up, but it doesn't have a regular rhythm, um, so it shuts down again. At which point, a large bolts of electricity just spread throughout the body, um, which we know as an AED, which is what happens when the heart has a regular rhythm. You just take the little pads, you stick them on the guy, and you zap it so, until the heart starts working again. And it does, and it does work. The heart eventually starts regulating, and everybody begins to cheers. But the head blood, the head brain cell merely remarks that. It's too soon to actually remark because the coronary artery is still is still blocked, and so the so the body can't deliver oxygen. But then a but then another little thing happens where this little tube comes along, expand expands where the where the blood clot is in the coronary artery, and just kind of pushes it aside so that the blood so that the blood flow can continue to move again. Um, and with the blood and with the corn and while everybody is initially confused as to what it is. Um, after realizing that it actually helped them by opening up the coronary artery, they can continue to deliver oxygen and proceed to get to work setting up the heart so that it can actually keep pumping long enough for them to deliver oxygen to everybody else. And it works! They they continue to actually go through the rest of the body, 
um, after immediately after and begin delivering oxygen to actually spread throughout the rest of the body and keep the body up and up and active um, going from from each major organ to the next um, starting with the starting with the um, starting with the stomach which is initially concern concerning for the red blood cells because they believe that they are too late only for it to be revealed that the that the gastric chief cell and the rest of his ship and the rest of the stomach cells were actually taking a well-deserved nap while they waited for their oxygen to be delivered so yeah they were so yeah they were just they were just sleeping they're fine um but everybody continues to deliver oxygen throughout the body with AA2153 personally delivering oxygen to the brain with with the with the head brain cell merely remarking that that he that he merely remarking that they that they've worked hard and that they and that if it wasn't for the sake of their but for the sake their sake that they body would probably have shut down long ago um and now because of him the brain is going to be survived the whole ordeal with minimal damage so and then th and thanks 2153 on behalf of all the red blood cells with 2153 merely remarking that he works just as hard and that they, and that it's obvious that not everybody gets to work gets like, the acknowledgement they deserve sometimes so he just so he merely th thanks thanks um brain cell for his hard work and continues on his merry way so at which point all the red blood cells continue to work through the body at a breakneck pace to bring everybody back online starting with the major organs and with the with the with the hair matrix cells merely remarking to nc um nc 2087 67 that they work that they should that he should really conserve his oxygen for for some more cells that actually need it pointing out that if the hair falls out it's not a big deal and it's not life-threatening but nc 2087 a767 merely remarks that they that they're going to deliver oxygen to everybody and that includes the hair matrix cells and so they do that um and ever and sure enough everybody every major organ comes back online and which point the at which point the cell woman that uh, uh with the cell woman that um a2153 regularly visits and delivers oxygen to being being the one of the last people to get oxygen um and and when she sees 2153 and sees how hard he's working she actually breaks into tears pointing out that she's always been mean to him and has always pushed him really hard and points out that she that he realizes that she he realizes that she's working that she works hard but that he but that she but that she is ultimately very rough on him but and yet she still she still delivers to get her oxygen from him so she and 2153 really remarks that that's his job and that he'll continue to work hard in the future um but with that but with that he actually leaves to continue delivering oxygen and as he's leaving he sees the, all the he sees all the lights go on which causes him to reminisce about all the things he's done up to this point and points out how he's sometimes he sometimes struggled doing his job sometimes he's felt sometimes he's been working the ground sometimes he felt like he was helpless and sometimes he felt like he didn't want he's had lost to him who he was he still continued to deliver his oxygen and has finally found a place for him to work in his job so he's pretty happy but with that the body has some has since gone back online and is now fully functional and also because of that the body has now started to clean up its act um because of so yeah obviously the heart attack was a bit was a big wake-up call for the body to actually start taking care of itself so because of that the black black building is at an all-time low um the oxygen the alcohol has start has stopped raining down which is is kind of a a kind of a good thing and a bad thing because they because he, the the senior red blood cell merely remarks that uh, long story long story short it's because there's no more alcohol they no longer have to visit the the liver as often which is kind of a sad thing because it means that they can no longer visit the liver which is which is a good thing for the liver but not so good for everybody else who kind of liked visiting the liver often so yeah the, unfortunately that did, that kind of fell apart and, and fell into pieces but. Um, but in case, they, but in case after that, um, a a twenty one fifty three and the red blood cell part ways. At which point he run he runs into eleven eleven ninety six, who has been who has just finished killing a gerb, and they continue to ca and they decide to catch up with tw a twenty one fifty three merely remarking that the body seems to have turned around, and that but even then they thought that it'll make him enable him to actually continue doing their jobs a lot harder. At which when U1196 merely remarks how how much he's changed and how he seems to have grown up quite a bit and how he's now a fully fledged cell and 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 A2153 merely blushes pointing out that he that she's embarrassing him which is very cute um and remarks that and remarks that she he actually admires her a lot and how hard she works and points out that it, it means it means a lot to actually hear to actually hear her giving him compliments and actually thanking him for all of his hard work which stops U1196 in her tracks because she because she realizes that she 
that there are two worlds come apart and yet she can sit and yet she is being admired by this red blood cell who she barely knew at the start of the story but now but now but is now kind of best friends with so and she starts blushing because she's because she's kind of flustered and it's just yeah, so cute um but but in case he tries to bet he at 11 90 um 21 for immediately tries to backpedal and tries to make make him make the situation less awkward but he doesn't have to because at, the, at that exact moment and seal 8767 shows up and asks him where he's supposed to deliver his oxygen again um at which point, at which point, um, 2153 excuses himself to help the guy, out, to help the NC 8767 out to go deliver and continue and to continue on their merry way to continue doing their jobs. So, yeah, it ends on a happy note, except not really, because after the credits roll, um, there's one final scene where a giant, a giant needle just comes out of the sky and begins sucking up br blood cells all over from all over, um, with. With a love, with um twenty one fifty three catching eleven ninety six, so she doesn't get sucked in. Um, but he winds up getting hit in the back by an oxygen canister and goes flying in anyway. And they just kind of get tumbled into the into a new world. They get tumbled into a new body, which is even worse than the one they were. And eventually, a a eleven twenty one fifty three wakes up, is woken up by NC eighty seven sixty seven, who points out that he that they seem to be in the same in the same artery they were they've been in. But that it seems to be it's significantly more clogged, and that's what tips the two blo red blood cells off that they're in a completely different body. They realize they've been transferred into a different body that's even worse than the one they just left, and that they're going to have to turn this one around as well, and that their that their work has only just begun. So yeah, this episode this episode both set both sets up that it's a fitting conclusion for the series, and that's it. It buttons up all the all the arcs but for the last season for the last season in a nice little bow while also setting up the new season which is that they're going to be in a new body and they're going to have to survive even harsher working conditions so yeah so yeah well so yeah while this while this episode does end on the whole fact that the that their original body has since cleaned up its act and has become a lot healthier as a, as a result of that and now everybody can ever all the cells can actually do their job it now sets up the fact that this isn't the only, that obviously this is that's not the only body like this, and that there are in fact several bodies that are, are that are as bad, if not worse, and that not and that again, not everybody does keep, keep, take care of themselves, and that they need to take care of themselves, and that's what this episode sets up. That there's that's that as bad as somebody else, that one person is taking care of the body. There's there's possibility of somebody being a lot worse. So yeah, this so yeah, that's what this episode is. It buttons everything up in a nice little bow, and it sets up the second season. But, in any case, that's my review of Cells of War Code Black. What did you guys think? Let's get a discussion over in the comment section down below, or over on my Discord server, link in the description. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me out, and you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks, and I'm always saying thanks, so be sure to check those out in the description below as well. Also, if you want to see more videos from me, then be sure to check out the videos linked in the end screen. The top video is the most recent video, it may or may not be this one, whereas the bottom video is the video recommended to you based on YouTube's algorithms and what you've already seen from me already. So, if you want to try something new, or do you want to see some more of what you like, then be sure to check both of those out. But, regardless of whether or not you do any or all of those things, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.